Do you guys, do you have any questions or anything you want to ask? Yep? Do you have um, a flag pattern for the shoulders? Is that? Is oh, on my blanket? Yeah. Um, do you want to show or do you want to both show? Or? <laughs> When we were allowed to start the Indian dance, when we were getting ready to come dance with Queen Elizabeth when she came to the Nile, my grandmother came into my bedroom and took my blanket that was on my bed and she dyed it green. It was sort of a blue color. And my my granny put a tree of life on her blanket. So she did that for all her grandchildren that were interested in learning at that time. And because of Andrea's enthusiasm and, and passion to keep our culture alive, I passed this blanket over to her. And this is our granny's work. And it's been packed so many times because we want to keep it alive because of where it came from, from our grandmother. Our granny lived to be about, they say about 102. She was my mom's mom. 103. And um, yeah, she said 103. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we didn't have birth certificates and that. We didn't have English names. So my grandfather kept record of it. And we found his Bible years later that we had our granny and it was only for her last maybe 15 years of her life when she started, we started to have birthdays for her because nobody knew before that, before we found Grandpa's Bible. And he had all of it. But that's, this is where the bag it comes from. And she's the one that designed it. The material and the color, yeah. What about the pattern around her neck? So, so it, they used what they had yeah. at that time. No, she's talking about this. Oh, oh uh, this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the material that Granny used at the time. See, yeah. people, like, everyone gets excited to learn, and then they think it has to be like this. And it's not like that. So if you think about it, our people evolved. If there was an easier way, they're going to do the easier way because they were wise. So our Granny, um, this material is what she had. Like, isn't that smart? Just take the blanket off the bed, dye it, and make it into a blanket, right? She didn't say it had to be, you know, there's, yes, of course there's process, but we don't have to get stuck on that part. And the buttons on this blanket are all different. So my blanket's really unique, and lots of people I've let use my blanket. Now I'm a little bit not so generous with it. And then we had guests. These are early 19th century buttons on my blanket. And we had guests come to our community off of a tour boat. And then an elderly lady came up after and she goes, you know what, I have all these old buttons and I didn't know what I was going to do with them. But now I know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to send them to you. Give me your address. And I was thinking, you know, I was thinking in my head, my young mind was going, yeah, okay, whatever. So let's see if these buttons show up. Sure enough, just before we had the memorial potlatch for our grandmother, these buttons showed up in two toilet paper tubes and they're all 19th century buttons. And so I thought I'd honor that lady for giving them to me. And I took some of my other ones off and put them on here. So there's a lot of history in these blankets that we wear. So, good question. <laughs>